Hello, it is me again. It is Anna Francia and we're here in War Remnants Museum. This is a popular attraction here in Ho Chi Minh City. This is in 28 Vo Van Tram Street in District 3. This is a significant stop for travelers here in Vietnam. This is the schedule. This is open around 7.30 to 11.30 a.m. There is a lunch break for two hours and it resumes 1.30 to 4.30 p.m. It is open on weekdays and on weekends. Ticket costs 40,000 Vietnamese dong per person. And I'm sorry I'm wearing a mask because we're still in a pandemic. I already visited a museum in Hanoi, Vietnam Fine Arts Museum. It is embarrassing that I haven't visited a museum just now it is getting late so let's go inside guys before it closes oops i was kidding let's explore the exterior of this museum first in the museum's outdoor exhibitions you will see many large weapons used by u.s army like heavy helicopters and airplanes of u.s air force and armored tanks displayed in the yard like the 75 mm cannon that was introduced into South Vietnam by U.S. Army in 1968 and was named King of the Battlefield by the former Saigon government. I'm not really good in war vehicles but the CH-47 Chinook is designed and produced by Boeing with its primary role for troop movement and battlefield resupply. There are many more aircrafts which I cannot discuss in detailed manner. It's my first time being this close and I'm really amazed by the size. Not every day that I see this kind of sight. So yeah, this is me just, um, I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> Okay, just a friendly reminder, some materials might be disturbing and offensive at this point. Let's move forward. At the left side is an entrance leading to replicate of tiger cages used in Kondao Island prison. There are statues of malnourished prisoners inside dark cells, a guillotine which was brought by French, and a photo of a last man who was executed in 1960. And this one is the sunbathing rooms, also known as open-air tiger cages, with no ceiling in the province of Vung Tao. Just outside is the imprisonment system during the Vietnam War exhibition. It includes images of structures of prisons, tortures, and their artifacts are showcased to tell the stories of Vietnamese during the war. In front of the main building, there are multiple kinds of weapons like rockets, bombs. Okay, we're here at the ground floor of the main building, but let's skip this for a while and go straight at the first floor. I am glad and I'm surprised that there are many museum goers and that really means that Vietnam is indeed reopened for tourism this year and at this point I also stopped video recording it is prohibited so I'm gonna switch now to some photo montage then sequence will be graphic and disturbing so watch at your own discretion we are currently here in aggression war crimes exhibit this gallery show the crime of war and its extreme effects on Vietnam and Vietnamese the war ended up with an estimate number of 3 million people dead, 2 million people injured, and 300,000 people went missing. Here are the weapons used from rifles, bombs, parade of bullets, guns of various sizes. This one struck me the most when I first walked in. It's a sewer where three children hid and later been killed. It's actually in Vong Tao. And this one is the famous Napam girl photo when Napam bomb was dropped that caused a nine-year-old girl named Kim Phuc Phanti burned. It received a number of international awards and this photo was ranked 41 over 100 most influential photos in the 20th century. I highly encourage you to check out some videos about her, about her stories. I googled her and I am very thankful that she's alive. She is really inspiring up to this day. On to the next gallery is the Agent Orange Aftermath in U.S aggressive war in Vietnam. It's a display of destruction of toxic chemical brought to the land and the people in Vietnam. The U.S. Army sprayed more than 100 million liters of chemical poison. You won't believe this but only 85 grams of dioxin could kill a whole city with a population of 8 million people. That's just, wow, that's mind-blowing. 4.8 million Vietnamese people and their next generations were affected directly and endangered by severe disability. Oh, this is really hard. At this point, I couldn't stop my tears and I already knew about Agent Orange a few years back, but 
it still hits me. There is no excuse for this cruelty and my heart goes out to all the people, especially the children who was affected by this. Unfortunately, the effects of the chemicals still do exist up to this day. Whew. Okay, sorry for that. But moving forward, on the second floor is the gallery of Vietnam War and historic truths. Here are the pictures like the weapons and many other remnants, major combat units in Vietnam War, tonnage of bomb drop by US Air Force, and the ending of the war by electing a new government to approve the first constitution democratic republic of vietnam going back to the ground floor which we skipped earlier there are video presentations where documentaries are shown souvenir shop and even handcraft items from agent orange victims and this is the collection of countries supporting vietnam in its resistance to u.s aggression countries from europe from asia like china indonesia pakistan and this is a rare photo of intimate talk between chinese chairman mao Zedong and president ho chi minh in 19 59, and more Asian countries like Japan, Mongolia, Syria, Korea, and India, and even my home country, the Philippines, was also supporting Vietnam during the war. Then South American countries like Argentina, Chile, Mexico, Venezuela, Cuba, and the Dominican Republic, even Canada and Africa, countries like Algeria, Mali, Guinea, Tanzania, Congo, and Egypt, even they are the aggressor. There were some Americans who was supporting Vietnam at that time and yeah it's already 4 30 the museum's closing now and I'm outside again and as you can see there is a significant number of museum goers from locals and even foreign tourists okay we're done it is overwhelming after my visit here in the museum I learned a part of how Vietnamese fought for their independence it is a sensitive topic that I myself am not comfortable to talk about it much. Yep, it is an awareness for me as a foreigner. If you're a Vietnamese or a foreigner living here or if you have plans on traveling here in Saigon, for you, I highly suggest for you to drop by here in War Remnants Museum. So what are the interesting facts that you've seen in the museum? What are the things that you are curious about Vietnam War? I will do my best to visit more museums here in Vietnam and to share my experience with you. If you want to see more videos like this, please consider hitting the subscribe button so you will be notified on my next upload. Yep, see you next time! Thank you!